Hello everyone, I am Sir Said. Now going to start another question. This question is from October November 2009, paper 22 and question number 3. This question is in fact related with the projectile motion as well as uh, momentum. So initially we are going to understand this question. Uh, there is a ball placed at this point. This ball start moving horizontally as well as vertically. Initially its horizontal velocity is 4 and uh, it's at a certain height of 1.96 meter. When this ball is going to fall on this plate in this way and after hitting on this plate its motion is like this one and now its new height is 0.98. Uh, air resistance is negligible means no horizontal force acting on it and the first thing is you have to get the horizontal velocity. It means the horizontal velocity is not going to change. It remains constant in the projectile motion you know. So the horizontal velocity is 4 meter per second. The horizontal velocity remains constant. In the next yes the vertical height is 1.96 and you know that the horizontal velocity is given as 4 meter per second but there is no vertical velocity at this point you can say that the initial velocity along y is 0 and the final velocity along y is required so it is very simple if you put the relation 2as is equal to v square minus u square and you know that this equation is valid here for the vertical motion so this a is replaced with g that is 9.81 the distance is in fact the vertical distance 1.96 and the vertical velocity v is required while this is 0 so v is 6.2 meter per second. This is the vertical velocity when the ball is going to hit on the plate. So um, now in this B part, the horizontal velocity vector is shown that is this one and it is in fact you know that 4 meter per second. But you have to complete this diagram uh, according to the scale so you must draw a scale uh, the suitable scale is one centimeter is equal to one meter per second you may change the scale but it is suitable because one length will be 6.2 centimeter and the other will be 4 centimeter so for the horizontal velocity vector we have this 4 centimeter line 4 centimeter and this line shows 4 meter per second so according to head to tail rule the vertical velocity vector is in this way downward and this velocity is 6.2 so the line must be 6 centimeter so according to head to tail rule we have to draw a line which must attach the tail of first vector with the head of the last vector it's like this one this way so this is the resultant one and uh, if we measure this line and this line is 7.4 centimeter which is in fact equal to 7.4 meters per second and uh, in this question this angle is also required called theta so initially if we get this angle called alpha then we can find this angle as well so this is the horizontal component and this is the vertical component so if we use theta I think alpha here alpha is equal to 
tan inverse perpendicular over base. So by solving this, the angle is 57 degree. If this is 57 degree and this is 90 degree, so this remaining angle theta is 90 minus 57 it is 33 degree so 33 57 and 90 is 180 so we have two answers here which we have to write on on the next slide one is 7.4 this is the resultant velocity and the angle with the vertical is 33 look at on the other slide okay the resultant velocity uh, should be written here at the top it is 7.4 meters per second and the angle is 33 degree now uh, after bouncing on the plate the ball rises to the vertical height of 0.98 means when the ball is going to move like this one then it will hit on the plate and rise like this one so now its new height after the bounce is 0 0.98 meters and the vertical velocity is required which is the initial vertical velocity along y uh, it is required and this motion is uh, horizontal here so we can say that the final vertical velocity is zero now again you can use the same relation that is the third equation of motion 2as is equal to v square minus u square uh, now the ball is moving against the gravity so we have to write it as 2 it's minus 9.81 this s is the vertical height or distance is 0 0.98 and this v y is 0 minus u y square minus is cancelled on either sides 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.98 all under root because u y is required and by solving this on calculator the answer is 4.4 meter per second so answer is 4.4 meter per second this is the velocity over there this is the initial vertical velocity it is four point the horizontal velocity remains constant and the vertical final velocity is zero so on the other side uh, the mass of the ball is given that is 34 gram and uh, it was in contact with the ball for in, in with the plate for 0 0.12 second now you have to use answer in C1 and A2 the previously we have used you have to find the change in the momentum means when the ball is going to hit on the surface this is its velocity the vertical velocity then the ball will go back in this way and here we have this is the velocity which is upward so when it is coming down this is the direction of the momentum and after hitting the direction of momentum is reversed so while finding the change in the momentum we have to put a negative sign because of the direction and another negative sign because of the change so we have to add the momentum to get the change in the momentum look at here delta p is the change in the momentum when the body was falling down it it uh, it velocity was 6.4 so it velocity was 6.2 not 4 and when it is moving backward it velocity was 
4.4 meter per second. So it is 6.2 and it is 4.4. Both these are the vertical component of the velocity. So initially we have to write it. Uh, the mass is 0 0.034 kilogram. Uh, it is multiplied with the velocity that is 6.2. Now a negative sign because of the change. Again the mass is 0 0.034 and multiply with the velocity that is 4.4 but a negative sign because of the change. So this negative multiplied with the, this negative to give you positive and by solving the whole term the answer is 0 0.36 so the change in the momentum is 0 0.36 and in the last you have to find the average force and we know that the average force is the rate of change of momentum as the momentum is given its value is 0 0.36 and this delta T is the contact time which is 0 0.12 so the final answer after solving uh, by from calculator the answer is 3 newton so this is the average force uh, thank you very much good luck